There he is. Sorry I'm late. I'll take it. Ah, oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Hey, just the guy. I saw this. And I thought of you. You ever carried a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. Right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture, real bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I right, open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you, it's Finny. You guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff, he's... Morello's still bent since he lost the car. Okay, it's your car. You got it. Have a good day, Buffer fellas. Play it again. Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you're worried. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? You gonna get the dough or what, Tom? Where's the money? Ron, fetch up! It's on the table, brown envelope. Via di qui. Lasciateci in pace. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your mom, huh?
Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. The guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Okay, there it is. Finally. Each time you crash, you make little Ralphie cry. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Ah, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. I'll tell him. I'll tell him I had enough of this bullshit. Jobs. Sick of being out of here. Other guys get sent to guard the cat house. And I get here. Checking over there. Fight! Damn. 
That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. <laughs> 